Oh yeah, I drove the skid steer and everything up them. Perfecto, baby. Like 
All right, we made it. And uh, I'm just getting, getting excited, guys. Oh, baby. Power strokes in for a transformation. Rex is ready to back it off and pull it in the shop. Go that way just a little bit. Beautiful, baby. All right, you're gonna go around back and then in that bay over there, he said. All right, guys, so here you go. There they are. <laughs> but luckily, these are going on the outside of them. Look at these things. They are absolutely insane. They are shiny. Dude, I was so worried about what they were going to look like, but that's going to look killer. God. So these are the outsides. These are really not heavy at all. Oh my gosh. I like how the innards are that. Is that solid? Dude, them things ain't heavy at all. Yeah, that's gonna be insane, dude. So we didn't want to, there's nothing that was gonna affect being able to work with the truck or use the truck. Still very easy. Yeah, so these are really, really, really usable. And, and they're gonna look good. I wanted to keep, you know, I want, it's a work truck. So do the fun. Yeah, I've been here with it for a while. From back in the old shop days. Oh yeah. Yeah, we've been here since November, it's almost a year. You like it? I love it here, man. The new shop's super nice. Uh, big expansion for us. Uh, so it's nice to be able to come into a, a new shop that we can go you know, start up. I think it's amazing how y'all was able to because y'all have always had crazy business. Yeah. And this always. that place was so small and Yeah, we I mean, we had no parking. We only had a limited number of bays to work out of. Uh, so for us to be able to do this addition to the old shop, we've got multiple bays out there. There's three in the middle part. We've got what? Eight working bays up here and two alignment racks. So tons of parking has been a huge improvement for us to be over here. We say that, but we stay so busy that we filled all of our parking here too. So yeah. We, uh, even, even with all the expansion, it's hard to, to find parking. And we still run out of room to work. So. Yeah, it, definitely turned this into something amazing. Yeah. I mean, it's there's not many other shops that can that say they're on this level. Yeah. yeah. But good customer service, that's where it's at. Absolutely. Dang, dude. That is insane. Holy. Is this what yours going to look like in a couple weeks? I don't know about that. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to use it, I don't think. <laughs> no. Look at that kit, though. It's sick. It's definitely done, right? Yeah. No doubt about that. We done. Can I get one of these? You can get one of those. Hydraulic steering assist. That's so awesome. Dude, look at those cool overs. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Mm-hmm. You ever hit your bump stop for doing something wrong? Yeah. I don't know if it's possible to hit it now. I hope not. 
I bet it still rides good. That yeah. kind of kit on it? Probably. What size are those wheels? Uh, 42, 16, 5 on 30 inch rims. 42s. 42s on 30 inch rims. Imagine That's having to cool. jump up in that thing, though. That's what you got them automatic stuff steps. <laughs> that is sick. Now, I will say my buddy built one of his trucks one time and it was taller than this. He didn't have rails on it. That sucked to get into. Oh, what is yeah, they do everything now. Service, mechanic work, um, wheels and tires, lift kits. This is a dream right here, buddy. Yeah. It's amazing. From where they come from to this is absolutely shows the dream's real. Crazy how heavy those are compared to the new ones. You like it? It's gonna be hard to let her go, huh? I can see your mind sitting there racing like, dang it, Dad, why are you getting this away? <laughs> Yeah. So good. It does. Just the back of it. I mean. Oh, man. Just making people cry. My gosh, look at that, guys. That is a look right there. That is such a look. Guys, look at that. Oh, my goodness. I like it. I just You're going to enter to win it? Yeah. <laughs> Can employees enter the giveaway? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Everybody's like that too much. <laughs> All right, guys, so we kind of had an idea the truck was going to be staying here. Um, it's still, I guess we're going to call this the last transformation that, is, that it's, uh, it's going through with us for when you guys win it. And uh, my man over here, um, he's going to keep updates on their TikTok and their accounts. We post in uh, videos on our TikTok. You can follow us, Two Brothers Tire and Auto. Uh, we'll show you all step by step over the, uh, the next few changes we're going to do. We won't let you in on it yet, but we'll, uh, we'll be sending videos over and uh, keep y'all in the loop. Y'all be able to watch on ours, on theirs, whatever, but we're going to get this thing looking right and hopefully the owner enjoys it. Yeah, I think uh, it's going to give somebody a really good start. It's You can leave it like it is when you get it or there's, there's just so many things you can do to one now to make them yeah. just absolutely. Yeah. This thing being 7.3, it's reliable, it's got the power, it'll do anything you want it to. Having a new transmission, there's nothing to worry about there. Now you got a brand new set of tires, a nice set of wheels, a few other things in the works. Dude, I think it's gonna be sick. I really do. Yeah. We wanted to do a lot more to it, but with the time frame that we've got, you know, it's our first giveaway. It's, it's our first one working with two brothers. Um, I mean, I really feel like the truck's come a long way as it is, and what, what they're going to do to it is really going to take it to the next level. So, uh, guys, be looking out for it. Look at, check out their TikTok. Um, they're going to be posting on it anytime they're working on it, and uh, I'll also keep updates up on our channel. But um, tell us what you think about it right now down in the comments. We're not going to get too crazy with it because we understand it's a work truck. It's something you guys can use every day. If you want to use it for gardening, you know, use it around the house. Depends on who wins it, I guess, is what the truck's going to do. So uh, so we're not going to make it too crazy, but we want it to be nice. We're going to put a little bit of two bros to touch on it. Yeah, for sure. But guys, we're going to leave the truck here. We're going to get back to the house. we got some stuff to do to the 389, and uh, we'll 
keep you guys updated as it comes. All right, guys, give me some guesses what y'all think we're gonna do to it next, what it's gonna look like. Uh, I think you're gonna be surprised. And it's not gonna be nothing crazy because I, I believe in a good work truck, something that's usable, something you ain't gotta worry about scratching up, beating all to death. But I also want you guys to uh, have something super, super nice. You know, you guys believe in us and put a lot into us, and we want to do the same thing for y'all. Baby, we're back, we're back, we're back. You ready to put a CB in this bad girl, Brax? Yeah. Been getting a lot of questions since the last video. Everybody's wondering if we're going out of business and what we're going to do and all that stuff. So we're going to talk about that. And we're going to be replacing that with something awesome. So we're gonna run an office. We got a few things to do real quick, get dirty real quick, and uh, then uh, we're gonna put it in. Can I get to do good? It's 33 horsepower. 33 horsepower, what? Almost as much as my lawnmower. <laughs> Crazy. All right, unbox this baby bad boy. I'm gonna start calling you baby bad boy. Baby Brax the bad boy. Oh, Brax. So, oh. so this thing's been peaked and tuned. So we got this thing from, uh, there's a shop up in Knoxville at the TA. There's a CB shop up there. And he actually brought it home and delivered it and everything to us. Oh my goodness, it's even got the bracket in it. There's a new stud, because we're having a problem with our CB getting signal. So we got us a new stud. Yeah. Yep, there's the new bracket. That's a bot. Yep, let me see it. Oh yeah, I like that. There's your mounts, or... Oh, here's, it comes with a corner in there. Cool. What? Hang on, I didn't bought a mic. I didn't know it would come with a mic. Look how thick that wiring is. Oh. He did say I was going to have to update the wiring on it because the factory truck wiring wouldn't handle it. It didn't come with extra fuses and bolts and something else. I wonder if there's a power source other than having to run it straight to the battery. Yeah. Might take the dash and everything apart. Yeah. To get its full potential, we definitely gotta um, here, open up this. Well, let's go ahead and show them the CV. I don't know why, I've been dying to do a CV video. I love CVs. I'm just a CV nut. I've got a bunch of stuff for CVs I don't use anymore. Ooh, that is beautiful. Simple, sleek, but Got the power, baby. Is this better than the one in Rooster? Uh, no, Rooster's got a big radio in it. Yeah. But I'm not pulling it out. It is staying in there. I've been saying that. Everybody's like, man, pull your Rooster's radio out and put it in your truck. I'm like, no. Rooster is staying 100% intact. I'm not pulling oh. stuff out of him. I'm ready to hear him run, though. Yeah. Hopefully we get to hear him run next week. Oh. I don't think Rooster has it. So this has got, let's see, external speaker, I don't know what that other one's for, camera, or no, that's power, I don't know what that, FG, it smells like burnt wire. Is it supposed to smell like that? Smell it. I smell that about Is that a bad sign? It's supposed to be peaked and tuned and all that stuff and ready to go. It stinks. It does. Oh well, let's see. We'll hook her up and see how it works. I think it's going to be alright. Alright, power cable. There you go. Let's see, baby. Got a big power cable. Bam. Holy moly, look at that. I should reach the batteries. Think so? That's a long way. Long way. Well, 
say it's that. Maybe not. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty good length. I think it'll reach to a power source. Yeah. In the dash or something. I don't think we gotta have like a big major long. You one. could run it like you know where the spare switches are. Yep. Press that. And oh yeah, we could run it. Good idea, bro. Switch turns it on. That way it's got a power switch too. Yeah, we got a switch done there. Good idea, buddy. Pull it right in. Let's see how it plugs in. Okay, so it'll plug in right like that. Bam. Dude, that is awesome. Yeah. All right, so we're going to put this thing in the 389. We should have all the pieces to put it together. Put a new stud on it for the antenna. Um... Guys, let me know down in the comments, what do y'all run for CBs? And what do y'all think about what we did to the giveaway truck, which is getting a lot. It, when it leaves there, it's gonna look completely awesome. We're gonna um, make it look good with those wheels and some some other work. I think the fuses go in this thing. Or those are exterior fuses. These have fuses in them. Kind of soon. This should be, this is my first brand new radio. I've never bought a brand new one. I've always bought radios that's been built by people and, and been worked up by people. I like old school radios. That's why I wanted this thing because it's still old school. I can't, I just don't like the LED lights and the Bluetooth and that just ain't me. I just like a good old school radio that reach out and if there's an accident, if there's a... You know anything like this is our way of communicating on the road and most people don't run cbs anymore that's it's super aggravating because i can tell you back in the day back when i first started driving for a long time i knew when there was a wreck i knew when there was a cop ahead i knew everything before i ever got there i want in it i don't really like yeah it just ain't, it ain't working real well so but somebody sent us that radio and gave it to us very kind gesture and i love it um, and we'll probably put it in one of our other trucks, but this thing just has to have, and I mean, it's got to have a, you got to put a bad A radio in the 389. You got to. I mean, we wouldn't be doing it no justice if we didn't, right? Yep. Yeah. Feel we agree on that? Yeah. All right, so there's the pins. And of course, you got to have a CB mount. I like mine with the pool thing, but it's also nice to be able to just set it up. So we've got mounting screws. So what we'll do is we'll go get that panel out of the truck and bring it in here. And I want to talk to you guys about what is going on with our trucking company. So it is without a doubt and 100% a fact that things ain't going real great in trucking right now. I mean, we are struggling. Um, I'm a pretty smart businessman when it comes to saving money and being smart with my money and and thinking ahead and thinking about my drivers and so we've been doing some things to uh, you know I don't want to go out of business this is my baby I, it's like I raised this thing from a, a little baby there we go I thought we were going to take these out I wonder if these are big keep one of these kits in your truck you definitely need to get one because they are super super handy they got little sockets and stuff and you can pretty much work on anything inside the truck with these yeah right here you can run to one of these four switches right here oh yeah we got spare switches you gotta take this thing out and turn it up yep so we should be able to run the wire right down through the dash up into there and then like Brack said we got switches here spare switches to keep power on Let's see if this is going to work. Oh, yep. I'm always... You're always right, are you? Yeah, sometimes. Alright, so we're going to take this radio out. There's one. Stick one in there. Put 
Will these, will those uh, stock ones still work? If that, you could stick like a charging station in it on those right there. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. We have one in there. It's yeah. pretty cool how people fix up their trucks these days. Yeah. And I want to do something different with our strobes, which I think Rob's going to build us some uh, strobe mounts up at SH Tube, which we're getting ready to go up there. We're gonna be up there for the next two or three weeks. Build some cool trucks. Okay. And uh, I'm excited about that. One of my dreams is to be able to build trucks. Alright, there we go, baby. Hey, see, it has one of those right there. Oh. oh. Oh, it's got an external speaker already. Yeah, it's over here. Yeah, factory. Factory. Yep, I forgot about that. So we don't need that in here anymore. Um, let me see how big the power and ground wire. I mean, it's got a pretty good size power and ground wire already. You stick it in there, see if it uh, gives lots. And stuff. Look, that's a big power and ground wire. Yeah, that might work. Um, I mean, I feel like that's as big as the wire that it looks like they it. sent with it. Looks like same size. So we may be able to just hook up here. Yeah. We'll check and see. I want to be able to get the max power out of it. That's for sure. I also have something back there for the CB too. Yeah, I bought it a mic because I didn't know it come with a mic. It's like a pretty that nice. That kit literally come with everything. It looks like. Yeah, it's a pretty nice mic too. It's like brown, whitish color. Yeah. Right. There she is. So let's put this loose. There we go. All right, let's open back up. What do you want those for? The cab over the Air Force truck. that up there with the wires now let's go back inside so we can mount our board like we want to all right so we got the old cb off got the new mountain bracket on i'll just put some big old huge uh logger bolts in or son that way you ain't gotta worry about her falling off. Yeah. What do you think about that, Brax? Good uh, and strong? Yeah. I don't want my CB vibrating going down the road. All right, so here we go. We're falling off. Yeah, we don't want to do none of that stuff. But now we can adjust it. Bam, look at that, Braxy boy. Yep. All right, let's go ahead and put her on. So these, I think, go in here. Yep. Those, and then the nice black bolts going out, maybe. Yep. This looks just like a truck. Chrome and black. So, guys, I wanted to... We were actually going to talk about what's going on with the trucking industry in this video. While we've done this, but I've kind of gotten focused into the CB. So, we will be doing a video talking about what's going on. I've been doing some uh, extensive research and into the Department of Transportation and try to get a hold of some of the people in the Department of Transportation about data queuing and about what's going on with regulations and why the brokers are getting to do what they're doing to all these trucking companies and definitely, definitely gonna get some storms again tonight. It's been around a lot this year. How? Some light this bad. That's red. Well, that's a little bit of light. Yeah. Charles speaker. That's Hannah's. 
Santa things? Oh, do we? Yeah, we have one in the back. Oh, yeah, I did buy one in there. Yeah. Wait, this side had an antenna, but I don't think it does anything. Drive this in a rooster and try to pick and choose. And I'll drive this one one day. Yeah, this is gonna be your truck. I like it. Alright, we got her in. There you go, Rex. Look at that bad boy. She's what good. Do you think? I like it. Woo! I don't know that I like the Connex bike. I really like that other. I think that I got. We have one. Let's see. Maybe pull her back in. Breaker, breaker, one nine. Give old Braxy, Braxy a radio check. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like it. It's alright. It's not too long. I kind of like that it's not that super long. Breaker, one nine. Breaker, breaker. Alright. So, the angle's good. Like that. Time All right. I can't wait. We got the Connex in, baby. And the wire that there, there. Yep, we got to fix the antenna lug. And then, um, so Man Brax decided to do is we did run the wire down for the, the lugs up here. And I think we've got, I think it's plenty big enough wire. I was talking to Rob on the phone about it too, and he's like, yeah, that'd be plenty, plenty big enough. He's like, I can see you having to, so we're going to see if that's uh, going to be big enough, and then if it is, we're going to wire it, we're going to wire it up and then test it and see if it pulls any amps. Get the, so first we're going to fix this antenna though. Let's do that real quick before we start storing. When are you doing office or one here? I'd kind of like to use that one we got. You got it? Yeah. Here's it. Cut them shoes off. Here's your We got her. She is on. My logs are flickering. Hmm? Oh yeah, this is my favorite mic in the world because that. My other one in Brewster's got the uh, 
one. I don't know. I just always like that style of mic. Yeah. Can't really switch. See, it's got a little bit longer feature. Yeah. Thing. We're gonna put another CB bit. That's the only reason. That's the main reason why we are switching CBs. Because remember, I was talking about this mic to put on the other one. And it's got like five or six ports. Because it's got that Bluetooth stuff. This one only has four. Yeah. And it's bigger. Now, I am picky about my mic. I got to have the mic that I like. I'm just gonna like that. Look. You like it? It's all black too. Oh wait, now there we go. Now that's more like it. Breaker breaker one nine. Get back to your old radio check. You wanna try it? Uh, you wanna let me see that phone. <laughs> you wanna try it. Uh, go for it. You might as well just do it. You're gonna do it anyway. Yeah, I say that. You just do what you do. You're a breaker breaker. Come on, give me a breaker, breaker, Brax. Don't let us down. <laughs> You're letting us all down right now. I can see it in your face. You're just dying. Like, come on, let me grab that sucker. Just touch it. Just pull it down and give it a little button. Try the button out. See if you like the feel. You like that, don't you? Have you have to push it all the way out? Hey, I've got a picture. Guys, I'm going to show you this picture of Brax at two and a half years old sitting in the seat of my other Peterbilt with a mic in his hand, talking on it. There you go, guys. That's Brax at two years old. When I knew I was doomed for, I was going to be stuck in trucking. <laughs> you want me to hook it up? That way you can... See if you can talk to somebody at the interstate. Yeah. All right. Let yeah. me get the power hooked up. Sure, good. We better fire the she close the windows and fire the truck back up because we're sleeping here tonight. You want to sleep in the truck tonight? Yeah. I can take it home if you want to sleep in the truck. I sleep in the truck. I love sleeping in the truck. It's peace and quiet too. Yeah, it is. It vibrates. Right. Bring it home. Good. Alright, here we go. Boom! Look, it's turned all the way down. That's the turn of the 19. It must like cheeseburgers. Yeah. <laughs>
what, but I got a hundred and eighty five third one. Where are you at, driver? Where are you at? Uh, it's what's on the tower. It, it ain't about the watch, it's what's on the tower. Kiss the lady about the snatch in the corner if you got a copy, the big man who needs no introduction. Got down, got down.